Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. What happens to your Facebook account when you pass away? I've just recently started down the process of doing my will at long last and it brought up a question for me. What happens to your Facebook account when you pass away? Let's have a look. It turns out Facebook gives you two different options for when you pass on. You can either have your account memorialized or you can just have it simply deleted. A memorialized account just basically stays there with a single person being able to post to it and they can keep people updated on funeral arrangements or anything else and maybe even add something in on anniversaries or whatever they feel is appropriate. The control is in your hands though. You get to decide what happens with your account. If you click up on the menu at the top and go down to settings, it brings up this page. Then you can click the Manage Account Options. Here you can nominate your legacy contact, which will be the person that will control your Facebook page after you're gone. They can manage your posts, request the removal of the account, respond to friend requests, and update your cover photo and profile picture. They can't actually post as you or see your messages. All you need to do is click on the box here, type the name of one of your friends, and then click Add. And they'll receive a notification to say that they've been nominated as your legacy contact. If you don't want your Facebook account to continue on after you pass away, there's a link here to just simply have the account deleted as soon as Facebook is notified that you've passed away. So how do you notify Facebook that somebody has passed away? Well, if you click the question mark help menu and in the box that pops up, type memorial, you'll get this bottom option here of how do I report a deceased person to Facebook? and a link to memorialize an account that says contact us. Here you'll need to provide the details of the person who has passed away, when they passed away, and a scan or photo of an obituary, death certificate, or something else that proves that they've passed away. You also need to provide an email address and they will get in contact with you about the memorialization of that account, taking into account the account holder's wishes, the legacy contact, or to delete the account. It's not necessarily something we really want to think about a lot, but it's worth preparing for just so that it's not one more hassle that has to be sorted out after you pass away. I hope that was helpful. Drop a comment down below if you've set up a legacy contact for your account. We have some other videos here and here that also might be helpful to you. And then an option down here to subscribe to all the YouTube videos and get notified as they come out each time, especially if you ring the bell. Up here is an email list that we're creating so that we can send you out weekly tech tips to help you get the most out of your technology. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.